I'm Stephanie Tro and I'm a painter based in Manchester uh, and I create large, predominantly large paintings that are multi-layered with different media um, that include ink, oil, acrylic and they all tend to focus on um, the natural landscape and um, how we travel through the landscape and how we deal with it. The title of Walk With You, it originally it was going to be Walk With Me because I wanted to like take everyone on like a journey like and follow me. Um, but then I kind of thought Walk With You is you're walking with the landscape. Um, and I've got this idea that landscapes all around us, like nature's always around us, no matter where we are, even if we're in like an urban space, there's always like these pockets um, of landscape and nature and it's always nurturing us and it's always there. So this walk with you is that the landscape is always there with you. You can always find a little bit of um, nature and it also came from a song as well which uh, resonated with me uh, and it just seemed to I think it just tied the exhibition in together. A couple of years ago I used to do paintings of large portraits and um, they were from magazines and they had their own like, ideas um, but I always felt slightly detached from them so then uh, when I gave birth to my first child we did a lot of walking and that's um, where I think I got a lot of my inspiration then and I was doing a lot of sketches on my maternity leave and since then um, it's gradually like seeped into my work um, and I think it's because there's inspiration everywhere to be found and when you're working in nature and that felt more um, I feel like my work needs to be I need to be connected to it I can't have that um, separation and it also makes it easier to get ideas as well so after my, both maternity leaves and then lockdown as well that like perpetuated it as well it's just kind of sent me in that um, direction of like, finding my inspiration in the landscape and also uh, how me and my family like navigate through it. I think like there's like a soothing element that I, for me that I've found over the years like with landscape um, that it's not just like this backdrop that it's like I don't know if you're, you're feeling not great if you go for a walk I know it sounds a bit cliche but you, you never feel worse for going for a walk you always feel better and um, yeah I think it's just got this real meditative and um, soothing quality and I guess I wanted to translate that through these paintings There's quite a lot of based in Warrington and being a Manchester artist it was like this journey that I was taking to Warrington and like discovering these places that I don't necessarily come across on my daily um, like routine or walk to the studio and that was quite nice because it was like I come in with open eyes so there's the Bridgewater Canal which I felt like was really important in this piece and that's like bridging Manchester to Warrington um, and I walked quite a lot of that, um, the canal. Um, and then there's the Lynn Dam, which was beautiful to walk around. And um, yeah, there's quite a few that reference um, where, Al where Lewis Carroll's birthplace, which I didn't know until I started this project, um, was born in Warrington area. So yeah, there's lots of little references um, to Warrington that I've, I've brought into the work. And then back at the studio, I've also then looked into the archives of Warrington, of them places that I've visited, just to like find a bit of history about it. And then I've found these like great images that I've, like, I've been able to like, bring into the paintings, like that one, like the boatman, um, the crossing um, across uh, the river. And then this one, the limb down when it like burst and like the villagers were like trying to get the water off the streets. So like that was really interesting afterwards as well, not just like travelling through the landscape but then afterwards finding out about these areas that I visited. With this project I picked like certain areas. So the first place I went to was uh, Nairsborough with the Lewis Carroll um, Centenary Woods and went there and I'd, I went there because 
I've just started in my work bringing more of my imagination in. So when I read, like when I was researching where shall I go, what, what places shall I pick, and I saw that with Lewis Carroll and his imagination, how great that was. So I was like, right, I'll start there. So that fe felt like a right starting point. But then when I got there, I was a bit like, right, I'll just walk it. So I walked all around, what where his house was. Um, and I just found this nice spot and started doing some drawing there. So that was based on like the light and there's been a seat there. And, you know, so it was all like, it comes quite naturally really when, once I'm walking around. Or I might just see something that catches my eye and I think, oh, that's beautiful or you know, that's unusual. Um, and I just take it from there. And also taking photographs. So I do a lot of plein air sketching and then I take a lot of photographs. And then back at the studio, I'll take all this information, sit, have a thing, write down. A, I've got like one sketchbook that's just like for, for words that come to mind. And then it kind of all just like leads me in the right direction and I'll just start painting. And I don't start with like, a, this is what it's going to end up like, but I kind of have a rough idea and then I kind of let it unfold slightly from the observation drawings, from the photographs and then let a bit of imagination seep in as well. That seems to be how I'm working at the minute.